Okay, CCMers, we're talking triad inversions. So let's say I wanted to build a major triad from uh, here, why not? A full comprehensive review of triad construction. Uh, we've got a, another video about this linked in the card above or also in the description below. So we've got our major triad. As a review, this has three members. It's got the note that we're building from, which we're calling the root. And then this middle note, third of the triad. And then from the root to the top note, that member is called the fifth of the triad. So you've got root, third, fifth. But what happens if, for example, I take the root and I swing it all the way up here and I flip it over. Now you get, instead of root, third, fifth, you get third, fifth, root. Notice that the bottom note is now different. The third of the chord is now the lowest note. We call this first inversion because it's basically the first flip. So what if I do that again, starting from this one? Instead of third, fifth root, I take this one and I swing it way up here and now I've got fifth root third. So we flipped this chord once, twice. So this is second inversion. The fifth is in the bass. But just to illustrate that this isn't the only form of first inversion. All that means is that the lowest note is the third of the chord. You can play first inversion, of course, like this, but you could spread the notes out. Something like this. You can play them uh, really far apart like this. All that matters is that the third of the chord is the lowest note. That's what makes it a first inversion triad. If you wanna learn more about triad inversions, we got a free chart that you can download. You can find it in the description below. Have fun, get cracking.